Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making some meatballs with ricotta cheese and I'm going to make everything. So I have, I'm going to make my own ricotta and my own meatballs and yeah. And the first thing I'm going to make is ricotta and I wanted to make ricotta but not just the ricotta. I wanted to add meatballs to it because we've done that before but I've never made ricotta cheese before. And I wanted to make it because I saw it on Worst Cooks in America and I thought it looked cool and I saw them make it so I looked up a video and I watched one with Binging with Babish and I saw them make it so now I'm going to make it right now. I already have some of, or I have seven cups of whole milk and one cup of heavy cream already in my pot. And I'm just letting it heat up. It has to get to 200 degrees. And now I'm just going to stir my mix until it reaches 200. But I'm using organic milk in here. And I'm also going to have organic meat. Just because it doesn't have all the preservatives and stuff. That makes it all unhealthy. So, yeah. Currently, that's about... Maybe a little bit at 100. I can't entirely tell. So yeah, now I'm just going to wait till it hits 200 degrees. And I'm just going to keep stirring it. Okay, while well that's heating up, I have all my stuff here for it. So I, I have this thing, this container, sorry. I have three teaspoons of kosher salt. And then in here I have my five tablespoons of vinegar that I'm going to add to my mix once it's done heating up. Then once everything is done in the pot, I'm going to add it in here. And this cloth is cheesecloth because I can't make it without cheesecloth. And I have these clips here which he used in the video just to make sure that the cloth doesn't like fall down into the strainer and mess up. So I have it like this, and then all my liquid is going to strain into here. And then I just have my sauce here that I'm going to use for the meatballs. And then, yeah. Okay, now it is, it is at 200 degrees, and I'm going to add my salt and my vinegar. Now I'm going to mix it together. And it's already going to start forming pretty quickly, but I'm going to kind of stir it for about probably like 20 seconds. I can feel it starting to form a little already. I just wanted to make sure everything was incorporated well, and I'm going to let everything sit. You can see on my spatula too, it's starting to form a little. So I took it off the heat, it was on this one, but then I moved it over. So now I'm just going to let it sit for about 10 minutes, and it'll start to form. You can see on the edges, it already is, so now we wait. Okay, so while my um, mix is setting, I'm going to make my meatballs and I'm just going to add some salt and some pepper. That's usually all I add. I don't really add anything else. I just make a pretty basic meatball. So now I'm just going to add some little bit of pepper. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add some more pepper because I don't think I have enough. I'm going to have to mix it all in anyway. So it's okay if it looks like it has too much. And I'm going to add some more salt too. Okay. I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm going to start mixing my meat together.
Okay, I took my gloves off because they're a little too big for my hands, so they don't fit well and they're falling off. So I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm gonna see how big I should make them. Yeah, I think that's like a pretty good size. I think before I made them like even bigger than this, but I think just that big is good. Now I'm just putting my on my pan and I wish I had more room to place my plate over there, but I have so much on my stove already. Okay, I have my meatballs cooking at medium heat, and this, my ricotta, is almost finished setting, and then I'll strain it. I have about like two more-ish minutes, and then, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna move it over and see if it's formed. It's supposed to have like a liquid underneath. Looks pretty good. That's pretty cool. I've never made cheese before, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna have my mom pour in the mixture just so it's a little bit more safe. <gasps> Some of the ricotta got on my camera. Probably should have done it a little more slowly. Uh, yeah. well, maybe. Okay, but yeah. Now I'm gonna let that sit sort of strain probably like 10 minutes okay you can see some of it already started to sort of um, strain through but now I'm just gonna shake it a little bit just to make it a little bit more better and I was gonna try and lift it up but I'm too scared I'm gonna drop it and then ruin it Okay, yeah. There's only a little bit of liquid that already came out, so now I'm just gonna wait for the rest to come out. So here's just the cheesecloth and the cheese inside. Some of it is still draining. I just took the clips off just to make it a little easier. Oh, okay. Steaming. But yeah, here's what it looks like inside. It's a lot less liquidy and it's more chunky. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and I'll see how it is and if I need to leave it for longer. Okay, so here is my ricotta. It has a pretty nice texture and it tastes good. Although I'm probably gonna leave it in the fridge later more because I like my ricotta cold. And I think it tastes a little different when it's warm. But now I'm gonna start making my meatballs. I have my sauce over here. I'm just, just heating it up a little bit and then I have my meatballs. But first I'm gonna place down a little bit of my ricotta on my plate. Now I'm gonna get my meatballs. Let me put them over here. I'm gonna place like three. I'm gonna get a smaller one. Place it there. Then I'm gonna grab some of my sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle it on top. I'm gonna get a tiny bit more. So, there we go. Okay, so here it is, the final product. And it looks pretty good, but now I'm going to try it. This. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Even though the meatballs are a little cold because they weren't cooking the whole time because it got actually took a little bit of time. I probably did like 30 whole minutes trying to figure it out. And the cheesecloth was like a little weird. So it was not like fancy cheesecloth. It was just, it was a little bit of a mess. But yeah, so but other than that, it tastes pretty good. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.